Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. Stay calm. We're on the same side. J Jesus! Who are you? I'm the monster in the closet. And I'm gonna let you go back to sleep as soon as you tell me how many men you have deployed out here. There's, there's just eight of us in the squad, but there are more on the roof. How many? I don't know. I swear. Thanks for the intel. You have enough light down here? I think so. These barricade lights are battery operated, so they should be okay. I have flares too if I need them. All right. Then we'll concentrate on getting power to the CP before we break out to the perimeter. Sounds good. Fisher, looks like the National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. That's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hitch a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't. shows you've reached the Casey's building. County clerk's office has construction permits on file for the floors below the penthouse and in the neighboring structure. Any plans or blueprints on file? I'll have Grimm look into it, but with this blackout. I understand. I'll see if I can dig up some plans down here. Good idea.
Fisher. That's a hired gun if I've ever seen one. He's no night watchman either. He's a merc. He's got the same kid as the guys who were protecting the Serta. This whole situation is getting uglier by the second. See if you can find out who these characters were. Will do. What are you doing down here? Who the hell? Off to a bad start. Talk or die. Ah, okay. We're on VIP protection. This floor. We need to secure it because we can't lock it off from the penthouse. Does the architect or engineer keep an officer at desk down here? Yeah, of course. West side of the building. Since you're doing so well, why don't you tell me the name of the PMC you work for? I... I work for Displace. Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's company. I know. Fisher, if Shetland turns out to be crooked... If Shetland is crooked, I'll take him down myself. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. Could be. See if you can find out who's in charge of this protection detail. Maybe someone inside this place is playing both sides. You got it. How much longer is this gonna take? It'll be done when it's done. Done when it's done? What kind of answer is that? Hey, I got a 220 connection here at 16 amps. So? So you know what that kind of juice will do to you if the wires get crossed? Uh, no. Well, here. Touch right here and find out. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, good thinking. Now get lost. It'll be done when it's done. Permits, architectural plans. <coughs> Interesting. Zerkezi has a hardened panic room off of his bedroom. I'll check it out. Looks like he also filed plans for construction in the next building over. The next building? I'm no architect, but if I'm reading these plans right, both buildings are connected across a rooftop. I'll leave the relevant data on your offset. Should help you navigate. Thanks. Fisher, Circassi's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. If it's an infrared beam, I can see it in my night vision. Exactly. And listen, it would help us keep tabs on Circassi if we could use these cameras against him. Gotcha. I'll try and run some tabs. Fisher, that's one camera tapped. There should be five more. I'll keep my eyes open.
Ah, so you're already, uh, in the loop. Yeah, me and, uh, well, you know. We go way back. Well, stick with us. We know how to get things done. I know. Like I say, we go way back. Right. What the? Nothing here. Never hurts to check. Good work, Fisher. That's four of six cameras tapped. I'll keep an eye out for the other two. Gotcha. Who? Devorak. Where is he? According to this, he's in the building next door. You can get there across the rooftop through the magnetically locked doors. How do I get through the doors? They're not magnetically locked anymore. Thanks for the help. How long have you known him? Long time. Long time. Since before this place. Since before Bosnia. Before Bosnia? Good lord. I knew he had connections, but... Uh... Yep. Know him a long time. He treats us good, we do what he says. Yes. Yes, well, he sure treats us well. Now you know, too. Now you work for him. Do what he says. Yes, well, certainly worth my while now, isn't it? More than worth your while. It'll keep you alive, man. Get the lights back on! What was that sound? I'm allergic to flowers. Maybe you should talk before I sneeze and accidentally cut your throat. Oh, God! I'll tell you anything! Good. Start with your boss. What's his name? Nadich. Mylon Nadich. He's in charge of all our VIP protection contracts. And how many of those under his protection has he killed in the last, say, six weeks? What? What kind of scam is he running? I, I, 
I don't know about any scam. I swear. Mylon Nedich. Echelon's got nothing. He doesn't even exist. Hmm. Uh, whoever he is, he's playing both sides. We need to inform Shepard. No can do, Sam. We can't compromise OPSEC for private interests. Fine. If I find Nedich, it'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend, but... You said he doesn't exist. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error. Lambert, what the hell is this thing? I have no idea, Fisher. Talk to the old man. Maybe he knows something. You must be Dvorak. <laughs> uh, well, Dvorak, huh? I had thought this area was, well, uh, off limits. You're not Dvorak. Well, um, since we're being blunt, well, no. Then who are you? Such a rush you're in. Hmm. Fancy some tea, do you? Lambert, something weird is happening. I'll say. What do I do? The old man seems harmless. Indulge him. See if he knows anything. Reminds me of poor old Jiggers. <laughs> oh, Jiggers. We hardly know ye. Who are you? What are you doing? Oh, well, one might ask you the same. I'm looking for a man named Dvorak. Ah, Dvorak, yes! <laughs> well, you're not going to find one. <laughs> this way! Ah, <laughs> yes, here we are then. This 
He's Dvorak. Jesus. I think I just figured out why you couldn't hack in here, Grim. Uh, yeah, no kidding. What the hell do I do now? Uh, hold on while I find a slide rule. See what the old man knows, Fisher. Okay. If this is Dvorak, who are you? Um, Dvorak's keeper. Thank you most kindly for asking. And what is this? This Dvorak? Dvorak is... well, you likely wouldn't understand. I'm sure you're right. But let's have it for the record anyway. Dvorak is a mechanical representation of a self-referential axiom of number theory. Dvorak encodes its own logical structure within its own executable cycle and recursively derives a more accurate representation of itself with each successive execution. Right. Grim, did you get that? My god, it's an infinite state machine. Fine. What do I do? If Sir Casey is using this... Grim. Sorry, uh, Sam, we're gonna need a copy of Dvorak's output so we can work out the algorithm it's built on. How do I get its output? It runs on punch cards. Punch cards? You'll need to restart the sequence and initialize each tower in the right order, and then retrieve the output stack. How do I know the right sequence? You'll need to hit the switches in order as the tubes start to heat up. Ask the old man for help. All right, I got the stack. Good work, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Get to your primary extraction point. On my way. Work on the cameras, Sam. We'll have guys watching Zerkazy 24-7. Always happy to keep the donut dippers busy.
I don't know what you're up to, but you'd better come out of there. Now coming to you from our New York City broadcast center, we have Patrick Dunn of Watershed Electric on the line. Mr. Dunn, what do we know at this moment? All we know so far is that this was not an accident. If it's not an accident, then it must be intentional. Both us and the Japanese have been hit by this thing. I think it's pretty obvious who's responsible. Here's a Tomo. It appears we have something in common, Admiral. Our analysis of the information of footprint shows that the pressures which collapsed our power grids appear in many ways similar to those that collapsed our markets. I am certain the Koreans and the Chinese are involved. Let's not jump the gun here, Admiral. We've had our microscope on a man named Zerkezi. He had access to weaponized IW Algos following that business in Georgia. He was also a major DOE consultant after the blackouts here in 2003. Yes, we are aware of this connection. Has Zerkezi been found? Not yet, but it won't take long. I'll keep you posted. Fisher, I'm afraid we might be facing an orchestrated attempt to push the world into a major crisis. Zerkezi might know more about information warfare than anyone on Earth. And the fact that this place is combat ready, essentially stateless and better equipped than most governments, we need to find out fast whether this is a coincidence or whether someone inside this place is making a major move. That said, State Department has several very significant contracts with this place. This thing is extremely political. I hate to do this to you, but keep it clean. Recon only, no fatalities. This place's offices are on the top three floors of the Hans Center Tower in downtown Manhattan. Recent financials indicate that they have invested heavily in their local infrastructure in order to maintain full operational capacity following even a major terrorist incident. Satellite confirms Grimm's data. This place is up and running at near to full capacity. It looks like they might be holding a meeting with members of New York City Council, possibly making a bid for protection or policing services to supplement the National Guard. They're prepared and opportunistic, that's for sure. But I wouldn't expect anything different. My money says they're playing fair, but if the boss wants to take a closer look, then that's what we'll do.